The Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission, ICPC, is deploying monitoring and evaluation performance, reporting as key components of its strategy to fight corruption. The Strategic Action Plan for 2024 to 2028 is intended to capitalize on the gains of its previous strategic plan to improve monitoring, evaluation and performance reporting while fulfilling its mandate. Dimola Bakari, the spokesperson of the commission, revealed that these are the senior management retreats for board and senior management staff of the commission organized by the rule of law and anti-corruption rollout program. He further explained that while the commission is saddled with the responsibility of checking corruption, monitoring performance is an important component of its new strategic action plan. When you speak strategic action plan, it's an indication of the fact that you want people to know you for a particular thing. You want I mean, your reputation in terms of performance to be measured according to stated objectives. So uh, we started working on the strategic action plan since 2013. It's going to be a strategic uh, action plan covering four years, 2014, I mean 2024 to 2028. 20, 20, and uh, monitoring of uh, performance is key in strategic action, action planning. So this workshop is about that, informing the management of ICPC, because this is the management team of ICPC, every one of us, of our responsibility to monitor what we have promised, I mean, the country that we want to do. A member of a senior management team and acting director of planning, research and statistics, or Che Godwin, says some of the pitfalls encountered on the previous strategic action plan will be addressed in the new action plan. We had a strategic action plan from 2019 that ended in 2023. A new plan is supposed to uh, commence from 2024 to 2028. Um, the plan is already done. Uh, this is the final phase. The M and E, the measurement and evaluation component of the plan, is what we are gathered here to, to, to examine and to put together. In the course of the four years, the Commission has outlined all it will be doing, uh, the time it will take to do some of those things, the resources it requires to do them, and our stakeholders that will help us to achieve those objectives are all laid out in the plan. And um, it is the right way to go if you want to achieve your target. And one of the facilitators at the retreat, Oday Joshua, who is also the monitoring and evaluation officer of the Rule of Law and Anti-Corruption Program, ROLAC, stressed the importance of supporting anti-corruption agencies to perform its functions uninhibited. The program has impacted massively on the anti-corruption sectors, the judicial sectors, and the access to women, uh, the access to, uh, to uh, women uh, rights for children and, and people with disabilities. So because of this, um, the European Union thought it wise that, okay, let's go on with the second phase. They're now taking the initiatives down to the sub-national level. You know, so it's it's one of those strengths of the program that we think that should continue. ACAs have the capacity now to be able to report, and not just report locally or nationally, but also internationally. And this outlook is improving, you know, year on year out.